Good evening. You're watching Hungary Reports from Public Media N1. I'm Moshe Flum. Thanks for joining us. The chief medical officer asks everyone to trust only the source from which they receive credible information about vaccines. Cecilia Müller pointed out that there was a lot of misleading information circulating on the Internet that did not correspond to reality. She also emphasized that it was true that the vaccines available had been made using different technologies, but all of them worked properly. Any national authority or even the European Medicines Agency only approve a vaccine if it is shown to be effective and safe. This means that being vaccinated results in more significant benefits, in particular when considering that someone without receiving a COVID-19 vaccine may get sick or face the risk of developing serious complications. The team responsible for coordinating the vaccination program is constantly monitoring the amount and delivery of vaccines. Istvan Gyurgy told the press briefing of the operative body responsible for handling the coronavirus epidemic. State Secretary for the Prime Minister's Office said, wherever a safe and effective vaccine is available, it must be purchased. The team responsible for coordinating vaccination therefore supports the government's efforts to purchase vaccines from different manufacturers. Istvan Gyurgy reminded, that the European Union's procurement and supply of vaccines was slow and little in quantity. The politician added that a designated team wanted to start a mass inoculation of the population, but this would only be possible if there was enough vaccine available. Experts of the National Institute of Pharmacy and Nutrition had positive impressions after conducting a study in China, said Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade Peter Seato, adding that the experts are carrying out a study in Russia as well, where they monitor the location of vaccine production and the production process and visit the institute where the vaccines are licensed. If they find everything in order, then a decision on the possible authorization of the Sputnik vaccine in Hungary can be expected to be made. Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade has urged in Hague the OSCE's new High Commissioner for Minorities that the Organization of Security and Cooperation in Europe's special mission should set up a permanent presence in Transcarpathia as well. Peter Sieto said, ethnic Hungarians in Transcarpathia often become physically threatened and supporting indigenous minorities is not a priority for the European Commission. Therefore, for us Hungarians, it is important to call the attention of other international organizations and ask for help in cases where the rights of ethnic Hungarian communities are violated. That's all for now, but we'll be back tomorrow night at around the same time and you can catch Hungary reports online. Please stay tuned for shows in German, Russian and Chinese. Thanks for watching. Take care. Good night.